This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is the third video on Cypress, and uh, today we will talk about what are the different, uh, 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 you know, Cypress modules are available, or I would say the Cypress uh, uh, different uh, sections are available to run the Cypress test. How exactly uh, Cypress manages? Okay, Cypress manages the, uh, the script and what are the different folders are available. You can see that we have integration folder, we have fixture folder, what do you mean by plugins, what do you mean by support, screenshot, node, node modules, what do you mean by cypress.json, package.json, because this is totally different from Maven projects or a typical Gradle project. So you have to understand that. Okay, because uh, tomorrow, uh, next session onwards, we will we will start using all these things. Okay, in upcoming sessions. So quickly, let me tell you that, okay, whenever you are, uh, okay, let me open Cypress over here. So how will you open Cypress? So as I already told you, you can directly go to node modules under this particular node modules under bin, we have Cypress available over here. So directly you can open it from here or you see that again, my package.json, this is a Cypress uh, open is also available. It means this will execute this particular Cypress open in the previous two previous video I've already uh, explained about it. Right. So if you really want to open Cypress, you can simply do that, uh, you know, NPX Cypress open also directly. You can use that or you can directly use NPM run NPM run. And this is the script that you have to write it NPM run Cypress open. So let me run Cypress open. It will launch Cypress uh, runner over here. You can see that this is a Cypress uh, desktop application it will be opened over here and you see that uh, this is the uh, you know all your integration test or examples number of examples they have given that now you have to understand one thing guys whenever we are creating the cypress automatically the cypress folder will be created and under this particular folder these are the uh, three four major folders got created okay so what do you mean by these uh, folders so okay you can see in your visual studio also or, on, or in any uh, favorite uh, IDE that you are using that okay you will always see these other major folders over there and uh, here you will see that okay this is the integration test that you will be seeing over here under that we have one folder and we have created our script under this particular folder right but here you will see for the development point of view you will see multiple folders there so uh, what are these uh, different things so first we will talk about let's see what do you mean by fixtures so fixtures you will see that okay you will find one example.js right now it's have nothing it's simple dummy thing is available over here so fixture means whenever you want to write any static data or any constants you want to define for your test cases and i don't want to do any any hard coded value okay in my script in that case you can define over here this is just like a constant file i'm creating in my java class same thing here in java okay in the form of json you can do that or for all your, uh, you know, if you really want to maintain your data in the form of uh, CSV or XML and all those things, you can, you should always maintain that over there and you can give their file path over here or any constant values you can define just like we have see, name, email ID, body or your environment variables also you can define that over here. Okay, and how will you access that? You have to use cy.fixture command. Okay, whenever you want to use it in your script over there. So that thing we will do it later. But fixture always remember that for providing the static data for providing the constant data for your test cases. Okay, so this is about the fixture. So I'll do one thing. Let me quickly write some basic notes also for you and then uh, uh, Sorry about that. Let me open that. So we are talking about Cypress folder structure. Okay. So uh, first thing we have seen fixture. So what is fixture? Fixture is used to provide static, I would say, constant data. Okay. Like you can provide your username, email ID okay something like this you can do that or any let's see environment variable tomorrow you want to define that you can simply do that how will you access that we have one method cy dot fixture method we have to do that like this okay so remember this thing how to use them later i'll tell you not now okay this 
second thing you will see that integration integration is for what integration where it's a folder where you have to write your test cases you should always write the integration test cases so by default these examples are available if you want to delete them you can delete them okay but if you really want to refer you can refer them if you really want to see let's see action specs.j so something like this that see they have written okay like this over here so if you really want to modify if you really want to learn how exactly they have written what is the syntax and everything if you really want to check you can simply uh, do that so under examples you can do that but i can create my multiple folders over here and then accordingly i can execute my script i can maintain my script like for login page for search page for home page likewise i can simply uh, do that over here okay so integration part is always used for your okay used for your test cases so remember this thing my second thing is integration part okay used to write test cases and examples of uh, cypress different features also available over here under integration folder so this is the second thing right third thing you will see that uh, after integration we have plugins and in plugin you will see that uh, index.js file now plugin is very important this is just like a listener in test engine so plugin will keep listening what is happening in your test and uh, automatically okay cypress what exactly whenever you are going to set up the first time cypress automatically it will generate this index okay dot js file so this is a javascript file and here you can define your uh, plugins you can define your uh, uh, some configuration with respect to plugins that uh, uh, i want to use this particular environment variable like that i want to use uh, let's say some browser customized option i want to use that in that case i want to define some uh, browser options with respect to let's see uh, incognito mode or let's say i want to uh, block the pop-up I want to accept the certification error certificate error or something like this so all the chrome options right you can add it over here all the chrome preferences you can add it over here like that so for that purpose what will happen that okay uh, it will uh, it will be accessible by the by the test classes and then you can simply use them for any purpose okay for your test execution okay let's say I, I want to handle any certificate error or something like this i want to accept the certificate in that case i'll be maintaining my plugins over here okay like that so it will behave like a listener uh, for me and uh, you can access them in your test also and you can change the behavior at the runtime also okay if you really want to do that in your script simple do that so later on i'll tell you okay but this kind of section we will be writing under plugin section a screenshot i'll tell you in some time by default it will not be generated so you just simply delete that we don't need them so let it be delete then we have support okay support thing in support whatever the customized library that you're writing or customized methods or reusable methods that you're writing or any function you're writing or any uh, let's see any utility that you are writing which will be available for all the test cases by default so you don't need to import okay that uh, uh, this let's see whatever the command.js or index.js or any utility.js that you have written okay it will be it can be it will be directly accessible by all the integration level test cases that you have written over here so you don't need to import again and again okay you don't need to write require import section in your script automatically it will be given so that is the advantage of that and it's available for all the uh, spec and all the test classes all the test files so whenever what happens whenever cypress is going to execute any test file right so you don't need to import this particular file for every single file so what exactly does that okay support file whatever that you have written okay this let's see command.js or any kind of utility uh, js that you have written just for the custom method or uh, for the global methods that you have written it will be accessible by all the test files by default now i'm talking about what do you mean by custom methods custom method means your uh, uh, any library or any custom wrappers or uh, gen generic functions that you have written okay for that purpose you can simply do that okay so i think we haven't uh, written this first of all uh, i would say plugins plugins uh, just like uh, i would say all the plugins you can define plugins and listener you can define over here under plugin section okay for example 
let's see for Chrome uh, supported options. Okay, if you really want to do that, let's say I want to accept the certificate. In that case, you can simply define over there. Okay, inside the plugins. It's not very heavily used, but there's a section is available. <clears throat> then we have uh, support, as I told you, for uh, all the custom modules, custom functions, any uh, wrappers you have written, or any, I would say, just a second, or any libraries if you have written, you can simply write inside the support and it will be applicable for, it will be accessible for all the tests that you have written files and spec files. Spec means your test files. Okay, like that. So this is a support thing. Remember guys, this is a very important thing. Okay, after that we have node underscore module. So whenever you are creating any node project or any node fold uh, based project, in that case, obviously node underscore module is the most important thing. It is having all your uh, package, okay, default uh, library. So entire uh, Cypress will be installed under this. Along with that, you will get all the NPM libraries, NPM installations you will be getting under node underscore module. So this is a by default thing, just like we have uh, external libraries in Java. Same thing we have a uh, node libraries available over here or Java library in maybe okay maybe in java project same thing we have it over here like that okay like that so i'm not going to write this particular part then we have one important thing package.json this is just like your formed xml file for your configuration point of view what kind of dependencies where your script and description name version okay dependency we have using cypress the good thing about cypress is that you don't need to add so many dependencies cypress is a collection of almost all the dependencies so Cypress by default will give you a complete binary which is having all the complete module which is having all the other modules like Mocha or any other uh, you know third party dependency with respect to JavaScript by default it will be given along with Cypress. So you don't need to write multiple dependencies like that just like we used to do that in WebDriver IO. Here you can give the path of your Cypress uh, script over here you can do that. So this is a typical package.json it's not part of Cypress but it's part of your uh, the project structure your project configuration next thing is that uh, cypress dot uh, json so cypress dot json is for a different uh, different configuration like if you really want to give your base url hey what is my base url what is my timeout i want to define okay so cypress related environment configuration you can uh, do that okay and uh, if you really want to override those things in your cypress uh, test also that also you can do that so likewise you can simple that is the purpose of this so if you remember in the last last session we covered chrome web security whenever any domain is getting changed in that case you can make that okay yeah chrome web security is false so cypress will understand cypress will based out of cypress.json properties that you have written over here so all the global properties with respect to cypress tool and configuration we have to maintain over here like that okay perfect so this is about the cypress different folder structure so one last thing guys uh, we will cover whenever you are going to write your test cases right so what do you have to do for writing the test cases you have to write your test cases with the help of mocha so for mocha you what you have to do that uh, you have to understand a couple of uh, couple of things if you are not aware about it so please uh, try to just like we have testng.xml right so mocha is again mocha jasmine okay again uh, testing frameworks are available with respect to javascript but cypress supports only mocha so we have to write describe that we have already seen that describe is for uh, a group of all the test cases that you have to use it after describe we have context this is just like uh, describe okay this is alliance of uh, context so under this under any specific describe if you really define that okay hey what is the context of this particular for this particular test or this all uh, for this particular feature you can define over there it is just like at the rate test annotation this is for your uh, test okay so describe i would say the group of all the test context is uh, like for uh, the allies of uh, describe okay it 
for writing the test cases you can write multiple ed blocks remember guys test one another test also you can write it so multiple ed blocks you can write it just like we have before annotations and after annotations are available in test ng so you have same before annotation and after annotation also these are the two uh, hooks so it runs okay once uh, before all the test blocks so whatever different test blocks that you have written this is just like before test annotation and uh, this run after all the before sorry runs after all the test blocks okay let's say you have written five test blocks it will be executed before that and it will be executed after once all the test cases are done once this is done then we have two more that is called before each and after each so before each and after each before each just like before method in test ng so runs before uh, before each test each test block and this is runs after each test block so this is another thing okay i think that we have already seen in uh, web driver io also after that we have dot uh, skip if you really want to skip any particular test so simple right it dot skip so it dot skip to skip the test case and then we have one dot only i want to execute only specific test case so you can write it dot only so only uh, okay that specific uh, test will be executed run specific test case and here skip the specific test case over here like that this is just like you uh, just like a skip uh, in test ng we have enabled equal to uh, false it's only means you uh, select that particular test and right click on it and run as like that okay so simple thing you can do it over here as well okay simple so these are the different uh, properties of the test that you have to write it so i'm just giving you the overview guys so that uh, okay when we are going to write the test cases and everything you will understand those things right in next section i'll be covering how to write a test case so for writing a test case you just need to remember guys that first you have to write all your preconditions if you have it then your actual test you have to write it and then along with the test you have to write your some assertions for assertions like expected versus actual result and uh, then then if you have any post uh, steps whatever if you have it after the test cases if you want to run it you can simply do that like this so remember this is the structure of your typical test like that okay perfect so that's all for this particular video i'll see you in the next video with the actual features in the form of coding we will start writing the code in cypress thank you so much guys thanks for watching this video